AITA for telling my sister I no longer wish to see her after she showed up unannounced with our mother? My sister, 29F, and I, 24M, have gone through a difficult past together. Our father struggled with alcoholism and had a habit of being very strict with us for the smallest reasons during the first nine years of my life. One of the reasons he used was my nail-biting habit, which came from my anxiety as a child, and despite my fear, I couldn't stop it. Even though he drank every night, he was disturbingly clear-headed when it came to causing harm without leaving any visible signs. My deep fear of needles is entirely a result of his actions. And when I cried too much, he used a belt because he didn't want me to be too weak. In the end, they were all excuses to hurt me. The more I cried and begged, the worse it got. Throughout this ordeal, my mother never stepped in to protect me or my sister, in fact, she seemed to turn a blind eye to everything that happened. I suspect she may have been a victim herself, but I believe she found some relief knowing he directed his anger toward us instead of her. Fortunately, things changed one day in fourth grade when my PE teacher noticed the marks on my lower back. I tried to hide them and lie about what happened, but thankfully, my teacher still contacted CPS. That was the turning point. We spent months in a protected community, and after that, we went to live with my mom's sister in another part of the country. My aunt was incredibly supportive. We lived with her and her two children, and she treated us as if we were her own. She played a significant role in helping us cope with our trauma, although I can't say I fully recovered from it, I started therapy that year, and I'm still working through it. The only mistake she made was trying to repair the relationship between us and our mother. While she never pushed me to see our mother or answer her calls, she often tried to rebuild that bond, which ultimately led to a rift between us. I realize I might have seemed ungrateful to my aunt, but after I left for university, I never went back. I wanted a fresh start, and the only family member I kept in touch with was my sister. She was the one person I couldn't walk away from, and I continued to see her until last week when she unexpectedly came to my home with my aunt and mother. It was a bad situation, and the worst part was that my girlfriend opened the door and witnessed me telling my sister and the two older women to leave and never come back. My girlfriend knew I wasn't speaking with my family, but she didn't know how bad the situation was. Afterward, my sister called, and I told her that our relationship was over before hanging up. She spent the whole week trying to reach me until she showed up at my workplace. I told her she crossed a boundary and that I didn't want to see her anymore. I've never been comfortable with how she has forgiven our parents, but it's her choice, so I kept quiet. For me, it's impossible, and I told her I didn't want anything to do with them anymore and that I hoped they would be held accountable for what they did. If she had shown up with just my aunt, I would have been upset, but bringing our mother, that crossed a line. So, AITA?